All right. Hi guys, welcome to our channel. I'm Amelia. And I'm Chris. And first of all, we just want to say thank you so much to everyone who has already subscribed to our channel. We posted a video about a week or two, yeah, a like little two while ago. ago. Yeah, but we actually shot that video a few months back. So. So yeah, we've been on the road for um, almost five weeks now. Mm -hmm. And so we've changed a lot of things in the van uh, since that video for sure. But then even in the last couple of weeks, we've been tweaking stuff. So uh, we're going to show you what we've changed, uh, some things that we really like, and some things are still a work in progress. And as always, just uh, you know, ask your questions. We're trying to do our best getting back about some of the questions in the comments. Mm -hmm. And also, every product that we mentioned in this video, we will link down below in the description box. And yep, let's, All right. let's do it. Let's get going. All right, guys, so we're back at the kitchen. Um, Amelia added this uh, nice, like, kind of gingham style uh, paper that we have, this sticky paper that we found at Walmart. Um, it kind of matches the color scheme and it's a little bit easier to clean. Um, and then actually we were just given um, by uh, my best friend's dad, he gave us this uh, 40 quart Coleman 12 volt cooler. Um, so it actually fits pretty well back there at this angle. Um, and that's pretty nice to keep things cool while we're driving. Um, that's not our main fridge though. We'll show you the main fridge in a second. Um, but yeah, so a lot of people seem to really love uh, what we did with this water pump. So that's still working great for us, a little water pump. And then we've just been using single gallon um, right into that. So that's a great solution. But we actually just added a two gallon mainly for our drinking water. So I think that kind of covers, um, you know, it looks a little bit different. We just got a cooler bag here um, just to keep some kind of uh, extra uh, food that we have in here, like bread and everything. Um, but yeah, that's been working really well. Also, people did ask about the Stanley, these Stanley mugs. Um, we'll link these, and I think we linked them in the previous as well. These are great. These are these French press mugs that we, um, we actually have been doing a lot of cold brewing. Uh, so we will brew it overnight, put the coffee beans in, and then you can just, it has a French press right into it. So you're able to, you know, get the grinds out of the coffee with these. Um, so these are definitely a great solution for, um, for cold brew or for just regular French press coffee. Um, and then we also, we do carry uh, instant coffee just in case you need to uh, mix that and you don't want to deal with the grinds. Um, but I think that covers pretty much everything. We found, Amelia found these awesome baskets at Marshall's. And uh, yeah, we kind of just constantly tweaking. And then these baskets here are also Marshall's. And then with this no stick rubber paper, it kind of helps things from sliding around. So we just kind of added that to the bottom of it. But I think that's everything that we've changed. Well, let me show them something. Yeah. Maybe, yeah. So I think we forgot, we didn't mention, did we mention this in the previous video? But a we, little bit, yeah, yeah, but not enough. This is so brilliant. This little uh, vacuum cleaner, gonna link it in uh, the description box below. Uh, it comes with, oh no, where, here it is. This little hand, this little, um, snoot <laughs> it's awesome it really you know i think people forget how i forgot i had no idea how filthy the car gets when you live in it constantly sand and dust and dirt and bugs and you want to have this handy and ready to roll um else yeah we keep our cleaning supplies here uh what else we are looking for a new some sort of solution up here that looks a little bit more attractive Instagram friendly, but uh, working progress. We wanted to give you an update of how we've been using this futon frame. Uh, in the previous video, we showed that it's so cool that it jumps up and it sits up like the couch mode, but it also lies flat. And like we said before, the extra extension for the feet we left out. So now what we've been doing is that um, you can pretty much just chill on this, on this frame as it is. So now it's in, we're not picking up the back of it. But because of this mattress, this like trifold futon mattress, that this this extension we can just kind of leave down. So when we're chilling in the back now, so when we're, when we're driving, before we drop it into full bed mode, we just leave it like this. So you still have the option of putting it as a couch, but as we've been on this trip, um, it's a little less tedious and you also get better storage when you don't drop the futon down. So either way, those are nice options. Um, it just still makes the, the futon is so cool that you're able to do so many different things with it. And with this mattress as well, um, and it really it leans up against the desk too, right? Yeah. It leans right up against the desk. Yeah. The beddings. All right. So we actually just skipped the whole comforter and, uh, bedding sort of what we have. We have a, 
uh, sleeping bag that we open up. Uh, it has the zippers here on the side. Uh, this is a Walmart one, I believe, but I'm sure we can find the same one on Amazon. Got two pillows, that's all we have. And then we have this extra blanket from Costco just for extra heat when we need it. Uh, it's getting hot, so this is turns into, we don't really need it uh, as much as we would in the winter. Oh, and another and thing then, is that we showed um, the fans. So mm -hmm. the fans, we were trying to figure out where to go. These are just um, Walmart fans that run off of USB. And so we're, we can kind of currently clip them with a large clip and move them around. And then they'll run off of a, this is a massive USB um, uh, charger. So you can run off of those. And we got two of those. Oh and then I'll show you the desk. Yep. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. So, so this is another cool update that we got is that this is this little um, car desk. So it'll unfold from the back seat like this. And you could actually, it actually has attachments that come with the steering wheel as well. But now you got a little bit of a laptop tray so you can eat off of it. It extends open so you have a little extra kind of cup area. Um, so this is a nice versatile little option. Um, we'll have a link in the description for this as well. It's a little bit, it's like $27, $28. It's kind of expensive, but um, it, it's, and it, the quality is okay, but like, it really is a versatile thing and it's very usable for putting up a laptop or just setting something down without taking up too much space. And also we can show them, this is new. Do you want yeah. to, um, oh, I never know what things are called. What is this called in English? Uh, this is a, just a cargo net. All right, it's a cargo net. So we use that. It doesn't look very pretty, but uh, it's kind of nice. To, I use my, my pajamas. It's just kind of sitting up here, whatever you, whatever uh, is handy. Chris got some um, jacket and stuff. Then headlamps you need a headlamp when you are camping um next thing that's new is our curtain curtain sequence should we do that all right so in our first video you could see that we were struggling trying to get the the pretty curtain that my mom had actually sewn we were trying to get it to connect here to leave the whole thing up in the front so we kind of abandoned that idea because we ended up needing to put a bunch of our clothes up in the front seats when we sleep so we went ahead and we cut more reflectix to the size of the side windows. And so this is the normal Reflectix. And then we also spray painted it black on one side. So you can switch between the two doors if you need. The black kind of makes it a lot more stealth. Uh, so when you're sleeping at night and then you can just stick these in there. So that's, the, that's a pretty good solution uh, for, for like, you know, for instead of the curtains. Um, and at night you can't really tell um, that, you know, it's not a t totally tinted out van. Um, and then the other one we got is this Auto Tech Zone Sunshade. So this is just the professional version of the Reflectix that is cut. Uh, so Reflectix on the outside, and then once again, spray painted black um, on this side, you know, so when we are trying to do stealth, I mean, we're at an RV park right now, so we're not doing stealth. But if we were sleeping uh, in a place that you wanted to, not people to know that you're sleeping in there, then you can use the black on the outside. Uh, so yeah. Cool. Okay, so currently what we have for um, the bug net is, I saw this on Amazon, this mag magic mesh. So it's a magnetic screen door. Um, and then I just cut it in two. So uh, this is just one side. Um, and then these magnets uh, are pretty strong. They could be a lot stronger, but they're, they're pretty decent. So they'll go to the outside of the window and then just around, you can see that I've just bungeed um, the back of it through the round. So that's kind of currently what we're dealing with for uh, a net screen. So really simple solution. Um, and then also that's nice that uh, it doesn't take up too much storage space. Um, so you can just roll it up and put it in the box and then put away the box somewhere. Um, if I get a better solution, I'll keep you guys updated. But um, so far, that's been pretty good. So we got, you know, this one package will give you both doors if you just cut it. So another thing when we do pull out this mattress uh, to make it into a bed, not only do we pull the seats forward, but we do have a bag on each side that we keep our clothing in. Uh, sorry, the seat is not pulled forward right now, so I'm just gonna cheat it. So then the mattress just kind of slides nicely on top of the bag and also your clothes are conveniently nearby. And I do want to show one more thing that I absolutely love. Chris and I have one each. It's a little toiletry bag. Mine is a little bit messy now, but it's super handy when you're traveling because you can just kind of hang it up, grab your whatever you got to grab, and lots of little pockets. Uh, I'm going to link that in the description box below as well. 
Okay, so in the first video, we talked about the Jackery, um, and we had not bought a 12-volt 12 uh, 12 fridge for it yet. Um, so this little guy is finally getting its work to do because now we have added this 12-volt fridge slash freezer, this Alpi Cool. Um, I'd have to figure out what the cord is. I'll, I'll link that in the description. But uh, this little guy fits perfectly between the seats. So we took out the console of the Toyota Sienna here, and then we just slided this thing in. And we actually have a little basket up front so that it would go even all the way further if you wanted to. But uh, this thing is really awesome. When the seats are back, you can open up the side and get into it. And uh, yeah, and then it has this little, this is the, the top, it has a little arch in it. So you can fit quite a good amount of stuff in here. So we're basically rolling with like three or four days worth of um, food that needs to be refrigerated at a time. Um, and that works pretty well for us. And then this, this Jackery is not even, it's like, this is the smallest one they have. And so this will run it for, um, probably about 10 to 12 hours. Um, so it certainly covers, uh, just your, when you're like waiting at night and stuff, running it at night. Um, and then another thing I wanted to point out is that charging this Jackery, um, you can charge it f from the 12 volt, just plugging it into the uh, cigarette lighter. Uh, for the input, but I actually just run it from an inverter. So I run an inverter into the cigarette lighter, and then I charge the Jackery from its regular uh, AC power cord so that you're able to get a better charge. It charges a lot um, higher wattage. So that's a nice little trick. Otherwise, it's pretty, it's pretty slow to charge a Jackery. And actually, this thing charges faster from the solar panel that we got, which I will show you that in a minute. Um, but yeah, loving this fridge so far. Um, very, very cool. And then the extra 12 volt cooler that we were given, um, we've got quite a bit of refrigeration. So this was a deal on Amazon. I think I got a link to the same one from a different manufacturer, but this is a cute little um, solar panel that, you know, you can open up and then it's got little kickstands to it that you drop down like this. And so you can angle it right at the sun and I will just go grab the Jackery. So this is pretty sweet, is when you got a nice bright sunny day like today, you can quickly pull out the, sol the solar panel and it comes with a bunch of different adapters. So it'll work, you know, it has this extra adapter that comes for um, different standards, but this will pop into the Jackery and let's see. Yep. So look, um, 45 Watts, 46 Watts. It'll charge the Jackery all the way up to 58, I think is the max on the Jackery. Um, so let's just move out of the way. I think we're, we're blocking. Yeah. So 47 Watts on that. So that charge is actually even faster than the car charger or the AC charger. And this thing is great. You can throw it on the roof. You can move it around. Um, and then you can just throw it in the back of the car. So I haven't needed to permanently mount them yet. In our last video, a lot of people asked us what our toilet solution is. We didn't really cover that. So I'm gonna do that now. Before we get to this uh, situation down here, I'm gonna show you by our sides, we both have this little bucket it's clean, I promise. We both got this little bucket that we use when we have to pee in the middle of the night or during the pandemic and you don't want to go and use a public bathroom uh, unless you have to. Um, yes, I think I covered that. Enough about that. Let's move on to number two, the big question. What do we do? Honestly, we haven't really used this setup at all. Uh, this is our emergency poo solution, uh, toilet solution. Normally we just go to Walmart, to Targets, whatever is available. We tend to go shopping every second day. So we usually always have a reason to uh, use the bathroom. Enough about that. This is our toilet sol solution. Let's show them. It is a bucket. This lid we got at Walmart, but I'm gonna see if I can find something on Amazon that is similar. You put it on top and look, get a close up of that. Yep. Emergency solution. This is obvious. I'm gonna, I'm gonna demonstrate, guys. I have no shame in my game. All right. So <laughs> this is. I will say, when you live in a van, you want to be good at squatting. It's the same when you use that little bucket at night. You're kind of squatting on top of it. 
uh, great thigh exercise and glute exercises. Now, you might not want to be sitting around like this in public. We got this little pop-up tent uh, for this type of emergency situation. Go <laughs> <Okay>. for it. <laughs> and this is, I think, if you have to, sh I don't know, like I just change in the car, I put up the covers and I change in the car, but for some reason, if you gotta be totally in private changing, then this, <laughs> clearly I've never used this before. <laughs> All right, let's try. <laughs> okay, five minutes later. <laughs> Okay, so we never use this thing, but there are stakes that go into the ground, but this little pop-up pod is for total emergencies if you're like in a place that you need privacy. It fits right in the side of the van, so it's really, it's really just nice to have, I guess. You know, like we said, we've never used it because you've always found a spot, but um, you also just knowing that you have an option like this, so you can go ahead and get some sort of toilet situation um, without having to, uh, to worry too much about that. I'm actually standing now. I'm 5'7. I'm 5'7 and I'm standing. So, and I have more head space. So, that's pretty cool. Let me get real cozy. All right. Oh my God, this is so cool. Actually, this is awesome. Do you want to see, Chris? <laughs> I know what it looks like. I know, but look here. It's now. a black tent. No, come and look. Yeah. Hello there. <laughs> this is wonderful. It's so private. I haven't had this type of privacy. In Maybe we should use Five it as weeks. a privacy tent. <laughs> When we need our alone time. Guys, finding privacy on the road is probably more important than anything. We might use this tent for other reasons. We never even thought of it. I just want to show how easy it is to put away these tents. So you just fold it up from the fore, and then it's just an easy circular motion that, um, you know, that it, it's, uh, it's incredibly simple. You just continue to circle on itself. So the, the simplicity of it is, is, so it kind of folds over, just, you know, basically, um, you know, that, uh, you know, it just wraps together like that. So it's, it's very, it's very easy to, uh, to put away when you're done with it. I think it, I think it actually is like that. And then over to, yeah. All right, well, okay, let's, need, let, let's just cut, let's cut. I can do, I did it. What? What? <laughs> I don't know how I did it, but it's so it's so incredible. So just cut all the rest of the oh, stuff yeah, we'll out and then just out. cut all the rest of the stuff out and then we'll just oh, see it. So, so it just easy. folds up so easily. Wait, and then just put it right into the bag. Yeah, 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 right into the bag. And then we'll take those stakes too. Don't forget those stakes. Yeah. Great, awesome, cut. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, so pop-up tent goes in here and toilet seat goes here. And then we just cover that with our Cleaning supplies bucket. Oh God, this is just, we just squeezed this together to make it fit. Uh, okay, perfect. Oh, and the vacuum cleaner um, here. Nice. Okay, and then one last thing. And the bucket, we actually just keep that by our side, and we use it to put recycling in here. And yeah, that's kind of. Well, it's never dirty, so. Yes. Yeah. Because we haven't used it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> previous video we actually talked about the little uh, self-pressurized water port that we used to keep here um, and that was great while it lasted but that one particular model I had some problems with so I bought that from Costco and then it was able to return that to Costco um, so we are still looking for possibly getting a road shower uh, that goes on top of the roof to extra heated water uh, in the meantime my dad actually gave us uh, his old solar shower um, which is pretty awesome you want to talk about that all right sir all right, so we actually got this from Chris's dad. Um, we'll see if we can find something on Amazon. If not, you can find this everywhere. So easy, we use our camera stand uh, to just hang it up with, with our little weights that we keep so it doesn't uh, fly away in the wind. Fill it up with water at campgrounds and, no, not campgrounds. Yeah, well. No. Yeah, fill it up with water and you're good to go. You have your shower. Either you put the pop-up tent around you or you shower in a bikini. And all right, guys, that is what we had to show you. Those are our updates uh, from our previous video. Um, 
Yeah, so we'll keep you guys informed of changes that we're making. Mm -hmm. uh, ask any questions or comments or off, off, off and awesome so we can respond to those. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel. Uh, we are going to make a video explaining that whole gym situation you might have seen in the background because uh, we actually bring that whole gym with us. And you might wonder where we keep it. So we'll show you that in a future video. Yeah, if you're interested in fitness on the road, mm -hmm. we're going to be doing a lot more of that. But um, definitely also showing how we've been living out of this minivan. Uh -huh for uh, five weeks yeah. and uh, going on six, yeah. yeah. And I now we're gonna make French toast, right? Let's go yeah. and make Let's some French toast. Let's go make some French toast. <laughs> right, see you guys I'm in sorry. the next uh, video. We're starving. All right, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye. <laughs> and then we can add in some B-roll of the French toast. Yeah, exactly. All right, let's see. Mmm. Look at that. Mmm. Wait, you started eating already? Uh, no. <laughs>